We are here today with Pastor Dwight Wilkerson. We're happy to have you with us to talk about your life, talk about your career in ministry, the work you've done in the Person County community, as well as in South Boston through your church, Dan River Bethel. But first, we would like to start off in the beginning and talk about your upbringing here in Person County. So tell us about uh, your upbringing. All right, first of all, thank you for having me here today and it's good to be here. Um, I grew up here in Roxborough, Allensville community, a uh, product of North End Elementary, go Jets, and then to Northern Middle School. Then I went to Person Senior High, then then it changed to Person High School, so I'm class of 94. From there, I went on to UNCG in Greensboro, so I graduated from there. And I lived in Greensboro about four years after graduation, and I came back here to Roxboro, and I've been here ever since. Okay. So we know that you have a uh, have strong roots in Person County um, with your family. So talk about um, your family and you know all the, the great people that were in your life, um, leading you and showing you the way. Okay. Well, yes, I'm really strong, really strong family roots here in Person County, Roxborough area. Um, the Claytons, the Wilkerson's, the Bailey's, the Thorpes. Um, so mostly like educational from Clayton side and um, I grew up with my grandparents they actually raised me so I got a lot of my values and my you know uh, beliefs from my grandparents and um, just really just love family I, I'm a lo lover of a family and just you know hanging around my family and just listening to the older people uh, getting a lot of stories and I'm into family history so um, I would say that's you know probably my upbringing in my family and uh, a little background in my family, so yes, sir. And of course, most people will know uh, your mother, uh -oh. Sandra Wilkerson. Mm -hmm. So talk about the influence that she has had on your life and the influence that you've seen her have on others here in Person County. Yes, she is my mom, Sandra Wilkerson, as you mentioned, um, educator here in Person County for over 30 years, um, taught at South Elementary for all of her career here. And she's been a blessing and a great influence to a lot of people here in Person County. And not only to a lot of the students here, but great influence to me. Um, now that my father's deceased, uh, she's been very, very vital, you know, uh, helping take care of me and just helping be a support to me in my ministry. And she's just a great asset. And I'm blessed, you know, really blessed to have a mom, a mother like, you know, my mom, Sandra C. Wilkinson, the one and only. So, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. All right. So you talked about going to UNCG mm -hmm. um, for college. Mm -hmm. What was your intended path okay. in education and then career? Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I majored in human development and uh, concentration in gerontology with the uh, ambition to go on to mortician school to get my mortician's license because my father used to have a funeral home here in Roxborough for a little bit so I was interested in going to that route but I didn't end up going that route I ended up doing some things working in Greensboro with nursing homes and f assisted living facilities so I stayed in that um, field for a little bit and then when I came back to Roxborough I just went to full-time ministry Okay. So how old were you when you realized that you were being called into this? Wow. Well, um, really it goes back to when I was about maybe nine or ten. Um, uh, Miss Annie Raglan Gibson asked me to speak at a youth day at Cedar Grove uh, Missionary Baptist Church, which was my home church before, um, well, actually after I was baptized by Reverend Howard at Elijah Grove Baptist. So then I moved my membership to Cedar Grove Baptist under Pastor Jesse Timberlake. And during that time, she asked me to speak at a youth day. I was about maybe seven, eight, I think about seven and eight. So and I, I remember I was so short that my Uncle Donnell Clayton had to build a box for me to stand on so they could see me. So after that uh, particular time, uh, my pastor began to prophesy, said that I know the Lord has had his hand on you. He's going to call you to preach. So. That went on for years, and when I was about 19 in college, I received my call to ministry and um, preached my initial sermon after my pastor. Um, he 
kind of tutored me a little bit and um, just trained me for about a year and a half. And then I went forth with my initial summit in 1997, in January of 97. And then I was ordained in August of 1999, called to pastor in January of 2006. So been in there for a long time. And we're going to get back to the ministry, but you okay. mentioned the name. You said Donnell Clayton. Yes. So you you got to speak on Donnell yes. Clayton. Well, okay. Donnell Clayton was actually my uncle. He married my aunt Frankie Clayton, which was my mom's sister. And uh, he was a great influence in my life as well, because a lot of times when my mom and my dad and his daughter would go out, you know, on dates and we would go to stay with them. So I spent a lot of time under him being a male mentor and just a strong male figure in my life. So I was actually scared of him because he was a big, tall man. And um, he was a, a giant also, not only in stature, but a giant in the community, being actually the first chief uh, of police, African-American chief policeman in Roxborough. So I was blessed to have him as a part of my life. And, and actually, um, after I began to preach, he was a great supporter of my ministry when I would, you know, go to preach revivals uh, locally, I could always count on that he was going to be there. And actually, before he passed away a few years ago, he would regularly attend my church services on Sunday morning. So, yes, sir. Uh, 